Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What's something that makes you feel instantly better when you're having a tough day? Coffee or a short walk in the fresh air. It helps to relax and reset my thoughts. My backyard butts up to a small wooded area. We have neighbors on either side but they don't ever really go outside and we don't have fences so it's really just me in the woods. I'll sit on the deck or lay in my wife's hammock with our dog and just listen to the wind and the animals and it's truly the most calming disconnect I've ever experienced. Sleep. Not for me. My brain just runs the bad day through a filter, removes faces, and makes me replay the issue with faceless people. Doesn't matter what it is. Interpersonal issue, technical issue at work, some car cut you off in traffic, and any other subject that crawls under my skin. My brain doesn't let it go when I sleep. I wake up feeling even more drained. Sometimes, I get lucky and solve a technical issue from work. Usually, I just feel a knot in my stomach over the bullshit from before. Seeing my dogs. Came here to say this. Dogs are just so happy you're home. That full body wag. It makes my day every time. Seeing their faces at the window when I'm pulling into the driveway. Excitement and love waiting at the door every day. The dog my mom passed down to me when she died a year ago was blinded by prey drive two days ago and got hit by a car, please don't lecture me, I wasn't the one who let her out, and I know anyways. I am absolutely devastated. I took that poor baby for granted and she was my two years absolute best friend. She was such a great dog, and I let daily stress make itself priority over her and my other dog. I fussed on him for so much. I'm fucking gutted, and it was so traumatic for me, my husband, and my kid, who would wake me every morning asking to go see her and if she didn't it's because she was already in her bed laying or playing with her. Rip Ollie, I didn't deserve you. You deserved the best life. Especially after the hard life living out of the dumpsters I encouraged my mom to rescue you from. You had three generations of my family's history in your life story, and there will never be another dog like you. Hell yes. If I'm upset and I curl up with my doggos, I feel better immediately. Dogs and parents are the only sources of unconditional love in the universe. Parents when you are lucky. I'm lucky but I know plenty of people who would end that list at, dogs. Quote. Not always parents, but always dogs. My cat being affectionate. Purring is an instant calming sound. Walking into my apartment and locking the door behind me. Waiting outside his apartment. Watching him wait outside that guy's apartment. My cats. Nothing like a big dose of oxytocin. 100%. Since I have my cats I feel the kind of love I never felt before. I love to play with them we cuddle a lot and nothing brings me so much joy. Same. If I'm ever sad, I look at my cats and think, I would be sadder if they weren't here, as they roll around this way and that. A cup of hot tea in a cozy blanket always makes me feel instantly better on tough days. How about you? A wank. Cunnilingus on my wife. I could eat that bitch's pussy morning, noon and night. Who knew women could have two types of orgasms at the same time? She once told me she has to clinch her eyes closed to keep tears of joy from shooting out of her eye sockets. G-spot mastery was worth every minute spent figuring it out. I work her G-spot while going to town on her clip with my tongue. How I only wish I could sign up to experience a 30-day non-stop orgasm, but not mine, hers. Ah, I have sex. Can I also be your wife? That's a pretty wholesome hobby, NGL. My first thought was busting a nut, preferably with help from at least one other person. But I don't often have a willing partner so, solo quest it shall be. You don't have a partner cause you call it a quest, and cause you're on Reddit. So here we are, you and I. Honestly for me it's just getting cozy with a snack and some good shows. Sometimes you just need those vibes you know. Panazepam. Paroxetine for me and also heavy metal. Lithium. On tough days, nothing lifts my spirits like a good playlist of nostalgic songs from my childhood. There's something about those familiar melodies that brings back happy memories and instantly changes my mood. I also love taking a walk in nature, it's amazing how being outdoors can help clear my mind. Maybe I'm a little broken in that regard but this has the opposite effect on me. It makes me feel more melancholy thinking about simpler times gone by. A lovely mug of hot tea. Peppermint tea always gives me a little lift. I feel like it's a pretty overlooked tea but it's so good and just a little bit of honey is all you need for it to transcend to true deliciousness. A long bear hug from my husband. I think I agree. A long bear hug from your husband sets me up just great. Sorry, I couldn't resist the joke. I wouldn't long bear hug another person's husband without their express approval and it's not likely I'd want to. I'll take this guy's discarded bear hug. Long showers. Shlong lovers. 
Got to make sure it's long hot showers though. Seeing my wife's boobs. Seeing your wife's boobs. Great aren't they? That would make a lot of us feel better. Being with my son. Blue heart. Happy cake day. Exclamation mark. A good laugh always does the trick or just binge watching something mindless. Who needs deep thoughts anyway? A work friend and I were both having a tough day. We had a difficult to deal with coworker. I suggested we get out of the office for lunch. We went to a Chinese buffet and were able to relax a bit. We were talking about maybe even skipping going back to work when they brought us the fortune cookies. I cracked mine open and read the message and looked at her. She had a weird look on her face. She had eaten the cookie, message and all. I giggled, then realized my cookie had a second message stuck to the first. I told her not to worry. I had an extra. We laughed all the way back to the office. That hard laugh was exactly what we needed. Definitely ice cream or a good nap, like a reset button for life ya no. Coming home and my kitty girl whiskey scratching and meowing at the glass door like she hasn't seen me in a year. She then comes out and scratches the doormat for a few seconds. I pick her up so she can throw her head back and meow at my wife until she pets her. Every. Day. It's the highlight of my day. Reading this reply section. IDK what it is but it just makes me happy to see what brings happiness to the people just like me and you, who have lives so similar but different to ours. Laying in bed and shutting out the rest of the world. A hug from my kids. My cat finally cuddling with me. Not saying it's right, but alcohol. Mood. Talking on the phone with my grandmother. She's 83 and still active but I dread knowing that one day I won't have her around anymore. Strolling in the park under the trees, sightseeing with the nature. My three-legged cat who has been with me for the most difficult five years of my life, literally saved me because he wouldn't understand if I didn't come home one day, and after the divorce and the pandemic when my whole life exploded, protecting and caring for him was literally the only thing keeping me alive. The way my cat, Merlin, would greet me at the door when I got home from work. Unfortunately I had to rehome him not quite a year ago because my cunt of an ex-wife demanded more alimony and I couldn't afford the rent on my apartment and had to move back in with my parents who absolutely forbid me from bringing Merlin with me. He lives with my best friend now, and I get to see him once every couple of months or so. I'm told he spends about a day or two looking for me after I leave. But when I'm over there visiting he'll spend almost the entire time either sitting on my lap or on the back of the couch licking the top of my head. Until it's food time of course, in which case he'll head into the kitchen and demand to be fed. Welp, that's enough reddit for today. Spicy food, coffee or a hot chocolate. Especially at night. Music. Hitting the gym. Yes, when I'm exercising, I'm so breathless that I can't even think about the thing getting me down. And then I leave the gym with a boost of endorphins and feel just a bit more confident about myself. It really does help. Cold beer. Why is this so far down the list? Beer drinkers are off persecuted for their beliefs. It shows that Reddit does not have the working class on this website. Hell, no one is saying cigarettes either. Getting home from work and changing into my softest comfiest t-shirt. My children's smiling face. Texting my little brother a stupid joke. When he texts me his own stupid joke back it fixes whatever's wrong. Knowing that I am not my thoughts or any other false construct that my ego associates me with. Watch videos of little animals doing stuff. I find them super cute and it makes me feel better just looking at them doing their little tiny stuff and minding their tiny little business. Someone saying something nice for a change. Best I can do is a backhanded compliment. I bet your screen name is relevant isn't it? Equals P. Hugs from my daughters. Weed. Coming home to my dog. A cup of tea in bed. Setting up to do a little yoga in my office and having all my cats join in the fun. My husband. Tacky, I know, but when I come home and he wraps his big arms around me I feel like I can finally breathe and let all the weight off my shoulders. I have a lot of anxiety and get very flustered around people easily so coming home to be away from people and just be with him makes my day so much better. Ice cream. I pick up some takeout, usually Chinese or some tacos, and go park somewhere that is pretty in my car. I play my favorite music or whatever fits my vibe. Give myself 10 to 15 minutes to cry it out, another 15 to 20 to eat my food, and then take a walk. The sun and nature and everyone walking the dogs usually pushes me into a better mood. My puppy greeting me when I get back home face holding back tears. 
a hug, idky but getting a hug helps me so much and my day went from bad to good in a second. Coffee, but not just a crap one, a proper one made with care and attention and then the time to sit and enjoy it minus any distractions for 5 minutes or so. Even the thought of it helps. A warm cup of tea and a cozy blanket always lift my spirits on a tough day. There's something incredibly comforting about slowing down and savoring a simple moment of peace. If a random baby waves at me in the shops or out on a walk. Clearly none of you people have depression. As awful as it sounds, a cigarette. I know how shitty they are for me, and I'm not a social smoker. It's my few minutes reprieve from the universe as an oddly outgoing introvert who has worked in restaurants and bars for 20 years. I used to smoke more than a pack a day for about 16 to 17 years. Now it's just one or two a day, one as I'm mentally preparing for my day on the way to work and one on my way home if I had a shit day. I've come to terms with the fact that I'll very likely never fully quit without a health scare, but proud that I'm down to only one or two a day consistently for several years now. I'm proud of you too. Good job, thumbs up I just decided to quit smoking cigarettes today so here goes. My dogs make me feel better just because they get so excited to see me. It's nice to know something loves me that much that it runs towards me wagging tail grunting and wanting ass scratches. Does anyone else find themselves saving some of these threads just because there's some generally good life advice in them? Closing parenthesis.